Hi friends, it is so good to see you here again. It's been a while, huh? Well, I'm excited to have church with you today at your homes because we are talking about how God has plans for us. That's right, God loves us so much that he has plans for us. So when I say, who has plans for you? I want you to say, God has plans for me. Are you ready? Who has plans for you? That's right, God has plans for you. Now, let's take some time to sing and dance and worship Him together. I'm gonna go where you lead me. I just wanna follow you, God. I don't wanna miss the amazing things you have planned. Shipping friends, I saw those good dance moves. Now, who has plans for you? That's right, God has plans for you, just like it says in the Bible. And remember, when it comes from the Bible, it's always true. Our Bible verse this month is from Jeremiah 29 11, and it says, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Can you guys all say that with me? Good. Ready? I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29 11. Great job, my friends. Now, this month we have been learning all about a man named Joseph. What was his name? Good job. His name was Joseph. And he had to trust that God had big plans for him, even when things weren't going very well. So, let's finish the rest of the story. Hey. It is time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Here, here, here. At the Wonder Clubhouse. Here, here, here. It's your friend Hayden. I'm trying to decide which is the best plan for my very own mini golf course. I'm building it right here in the clubhouse. I was thinking these two box lids can be the path for the ball to follow. Oh, 
Oh, and I can also draw a blue pawn right here. This big pom-pom from my art supplies can be the ball. This cup can be the hole for the ball to go into. This wrapping paper roll can be the clue. Pretty cool plan, right? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? What is this creation set up by you? Hi, Ollie. I made my very own mini golf course. Isn't this the best plan ever? It is a wonderful plan for golf. That's true. But there's someone who makes the best plans for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. They'll be here soon, Stormy. I'm sure they'll be here soon. There you are! Look, Stormy! There's our friends! I'm Carrie the Dog Walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. We've been waiting for you because we want to finish the story about Joseph and God's plans for him. Are you ready for the story? <laughs> I know Stormy is! So today's true story from the Bible begins with Joseph. This is Joseph. Joseph's dad gave him a very special coat which made some of his brothers very mad. They sent him far away to work. Then Joseph was sent to jail for something he didn't do. Do you think Joseph still trusted God, even though it was hard? Yes, he did. And God's plans for Joseph weren't finished yet. The king of Egypt named Pharaoh had a crazy dream, and he didn't know what it meant. He heard that Joseph was very good at understanding dreams, so he had Joseph brought to the palace to talk to him. Joseph was happy to talk to the king about his dream. Joseph listened to Pharaoh, and God helped Joseph understand the dreams. Joseph told Pharaoh to save food for seven years, because after that, there would be seven years where no food would grow. Pharaoh was so happy that Joseph helped him so he put Joseph in charge. Joseph got to work saving food in Egypt for seven years. It was all part of God's plans. Let's count to seven together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> now look, wow, Joseph saved up so much food, which is good because just like God said, the food stopped growing and everyone needed food to eat, including Joseph's family. They didn't have any food, but who saved up all the food in Egypt? Their brother Joseph. Joseph forgave his brothers for what they did to him, and he made sure everyone in his family had food. <laughs> Yay, Joseph! Let's cheer for Joseph because he trusted God's plans for him even when it was hard. Yay, Joseph! And now, let's cheer for God because God loves us and God's plans are always best. Yay, God! Hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for you. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God's plans are always best. God's plans for me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God's plans for Joseph were bigger than Joseph could ever imagine. That's because God's plans are always best. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! 
I'm so glad that God has plans for me. See you next time. Bye. God had plans for Joseph and his family, even when it looked like things weren't going too well. God had a good plan for them. And God has a good plan for you and a good plan for me and a good plan for everyone that he loves. That is so cool. So remember, who has a good plan for you? You guys got it. God has good plans for you. Now, let's close our eyes and talk to him now. God, thank you so much that you have good plans for us. Thank you that you love us so much that we can trust that even when things are really, really hard, you have good plans for us. We love you so much. Please bless all of our friends at home and their time with their families. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Okay, my friends, we'll see you right back at church next week for our holiday fun. Get ready to get some candy. Bye.